What's going on guys? It's Josh again playing Pokemon and I'm using my Sandstorm team again and this time you're gonna get the Sea Flygon unlike last time. Not gonna faint right away, don't worry. Flygon's a total beast except this time you actually get to see it instead of get, getting hit by an ice type move right away. And this is a bit iffy. Like as you can see is that event Entei, it's shiny, blah blah blah, he's really cool. Um, but, that's fine. I was like, I don't really want Tyranitar to faint right away, because he's sort of, you know, bulky, and I like him. And he uses Eruption right off the bat, which, I mean, it's pretty predictable. I mean, of course he's going to use Eruption, because his health is at full. Going to do a ton of damage. Almost takes out Torterra right away, and Flygon's pretty good, and, you know, hangs on in there. So I haven't used B, uh, Dig because I was like, okay, Whale Lord's probably going to target him or something because, you know, Dragon types, they're kind of scary. So he uses Eruption again. Fly it doesn't get hit by Flygon because Flygon's still underground. But there goes Torterra. Doesn't really get to do anything. I need to replace Torterra, I think. Oh, well, not really that great of a Pokemon. Not very many good moves either. I don't know. I guess we'll see. So I use Dig on Entei because I just want to take out some damage. And it does a decent amount. And Whale Lord uses Dive. I was like, okay, I can't hit Whale Lord for right now. Entei's really low HP, so if he tries that Eruption shit again, he's not going to get very far. And so I was like, okay, he's going to target my Flygon because that was the only Pokemon out at the time. So I just have Flygon use Protect. He uses Eruption again, Flygon already protected itself, and Eruption's not going to do much to Tyranitar. Because, I mean, look at Entei's HP, and then it's not very effective too on top of that. Flygon protected itself, and then that just leaves Tyranitar using Earthquake. Doesn't even fuck Flygon in the first place, but, I mean, throwing a Protect on there, why not? So it does a ton of damage to both Waylord and Entei, and Entei is out. And I was thankful because, I mean, for all I knew, it only knew an eruption or a choice scarf or whatever. But, I mean, it's fine. Dead now. So he throws out Torterra, and I decide to use Fly. Because, as you can tell, Torterra is a grass type. So flying type moves. Really good on it. And he uses Scald, and I was like, what a dick. And it's super effective. And on top of that, I get burnt, which has a high chance of you getting burnt. I was like, crap, because, you know, it's it lowers your attack power by half, and my Tyranitar is a very high physical attacker, he's not going to be able to do as much now because of that burn. I'm like, alright, fine, Earthquake's still going to do, it's still going to kill Whale Lord, probably because of the Torterra's Bulldoze. And it did very little to Torterra. I mean, I didn't expect it to do much. And Tyranitar is out due to the burn. So, that's too bad, but he sends out his Metagross. And so, that seemed pretty good for me, because then I sent out Heatran. And as you can tell, Steel and Grass, these guys are both weak against Fire. They're in trouble now that Heatran's in the game. And Torterra goes down to about half HP, and then I use Heat Wave, and they're both done. That, that was, I was so happy with that, because I was like, awesome. Now they're both going, like, they're both going down, Heat Red and Flygon, pretty much unstoppable.